I'm Lee and I'm the singer and guitarist in the Fireflies. I'm Andrew and I play drums. I'm John and I play the bass. I formed the band I think in 2007, so it's been about five, five years now. Um, we started off as the band Warped, uh, a couple of members from that band, uh, a few left, so we decided it wasn't fair to keep the same name of that band with different people adding themselves, so uh, we became the Fireflies. Right, we've just finished recording our second album, Cathedral for Your Ashes, which is the follow-up to uh, when we released Better to Burn Out in 2009. Um, that did really well, that hit the top 30 on uh, the Amazon download chart, which was, was obviously quite a surprise. Um, so yeah, so we've just finished that second album after four or five months in the studio. At the minute we're just doing our debut video for the first single off the album, Talking to the Satellite. And then we've got um, a lot of gigs coming up, big tour towards the end of the year. But it's been the busiest year we've ever had, man, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's one of them, it's, it's kind of snowballed from just a couple of gigs in and there, and obviously the success of the first album, you know, for what it was, we feel like it did really well. And, uh, you know, we've, we've picked up a lot of fans along the way, so we've just decided to put this album out. I think it's out in September, September, October, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. But yeah, it's been a really busy six months, and it's going to be even busier towards the end of the year next year. Personally, my main influences are The Beatles, The Who, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Pearl Jam, that kind of thing. Probably mainly Smashing Pumpkins, ACDC, Blink-182, Travis Barker. It's a big influence, like trans to accent everything. Mine was all mainly Creed, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, all the uh, old uh, classic 80s sort of rock with a good bass line and a good, good, uh, good drum line in mind. Mine's a pack a punch. I always love it when that uh, first note kicks in. My first one is Machine Gun, as I just such a fun track to drum. And the second one is Same as John's, Packer Punch, which it's really easy kind of to sing along to. Quite like Easel, the last track, that's quite the one with the string quartet and the piano and that. And I quite like um, the one we're actually doing now, we're talking to the satellite, it's quite good, quite like that one. But I like them all to be honest with you, but you know, they're like the favourites, I like to play live. And, you know, they're alright then. The first CD I ever bought was The Offspring, Conspiracy of One. Aerosmith's Greatest Hits. I can remember actually buying it from a WH Smith at the time up in Runcorn. I remember putting it into my old little hi-fi in my bedroom. It was, just, just, it was just awesome and that's what basically got me into, into music and just thought, that's what I'm going to do. The first CD I actually got was Meet Is Murder by The Smiths. Probably the best album I've ever heard actually to this day. When you're playing in a gig and you're really enjoying it and you look at the crowd and they seem to be loving it too, it's just a brilliant feeling. Being on stage with your friends, playing the music that you enjoy, you know, again, just the crowd loving you and you loving the crowd for loving yourself. It's like writing songs, to be honest with you, and then when, you know, you do a good gig and there's a fair few people turned up and they all appreciate your music and, you know, they bought your album and when it comes to the time when there's their favourite song on the album and they're right at the front, you know, singing really loud, you know, and you can hear their singing. You've never met them before, obviously, and they're singing every word back to you. For me, personally, that's everything, you know, that I've ever wanted. Yeah, this band has never done drugs, as simple as that, you know, none of us, you know, drink or that kind of thing. And a lot of bands are in it for the, you know, the, the chicks and all that kind of crap. And, you know, that's never, no rock star egos in this band. When people get a platform to say stuff, I don't think they use it the right way. Like a lot of bands like Pearl Jam and even U2 to an extent, you know, they'll use their fame to, um, you know, just say say what is right, you know, to give a voice to the voiceless, basically. And that's definitely something that we look at as a band. It might seem sad to a lot of people being a band and not being into that kind of lifestyle, but it's not for us. It's, you know, let someone else do that. The best way to contact us is off the website, which is thefireflies.co.uk, which is a fire, F-L-Y-S, because are named after the film The Devil's Rejects. Then obviously if you just Google Fireflies, uh, you, or, you know, go on Facebook, we've got that there, and we've got MySpace as well. So just Google the Fireflies, spelled like that, and pretty much you, you'll find us in that. <laughs>